Hello there. This is the Sounds American channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the American vowel sound ow, as in the word cloud. You can also hear this sound in words like how, now, out, or town. We'll be using special phonetic symbols, ow, for this sound. Let's begin with the simple exercise. Take a look at these two words, bra and brow. They differ by their vowel sounds, the ah in bra and the ow in brow. Now, watch and compare what happens when you pronounce these vowels. Ah, ow. Do you see a difference in how your tongue and jaw move? When you pronounce the ah sound, your tongue and jaw move into one position only. So you pronounce just one sound. That's why the ah is called a monothong, which means a single sound. However, when you pronounce the ow vowel, your tongue and jaw move from one position to another. The ow is called a diphthong, which means that it's made by merging two single sounds into one. That's why your jaw and tongue change their positions as you make the first sound and then connect it to the second. There are three diphthongs in American English, the ow, the oi, and the i, as in the words bow, boy, and by. We'll cover the oi and the i in our other videos. As for the ow, let's find out how to pronounce this sound. To make the ow diphthong correctly, you need to pronounce two sounds and make a smooth connection between them. This is how you do that. Start with making the ah sound. Open your mouth as wide as possible. Relax your lips and allow them to rest in a neutral position. Flatten your tongue and place it very low in your mouth. The tip of your tongue should be touching the back of your bottom front teeth. Next, connect the ah to the uh sound. Smoothly move your jaw up until your mouth is almost closed. Then pull the back of your tongue to your throat. The first sound in a diphthong is typically longer and louder. So, make sure that you pronounce a nice and full ah, and then connect it to the uh. Now let's glide from the ah to the uh, and blend the two sounds together. Ow. 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 Let's talk about the most typical mistakes that people make when pronouncing the ow diphthong. Number one. Many non-native English speakers reduce the uh sound in the ow. As a result, the whole sound gets distorted and it may lead to misunderstandings. Compare. Shot. Shout. Number two. In words like town, the ow is followed by a nasal consonant m. Some people may distort the ow by pronouncing it through their nose. This happens if you pass the air through your nose too early, before making the m sound. How do you fix this? Practice pronouncing words this way. Tau, mm, town. 
Dow. Mm. Down. Remember, both sounds in diphthongs are equally important. Don't reduce the second sound and avoid pronouncing your diphthongs through your nose. Now, let's practice the ow sound in some words. This is how the practice works. You'll see a word on the screen and hear its pronunciation. Like this. About. You'll have a few seconds to pronounce the word. Don't skip this part and do your best to practice as many words as possible. Let's begin. About. Allow. Bow. Cloud. Couch. Cow. Crowd. Doubt. Eyebrow. Flower. House. How. Loud. Mouse. Mouth. Now. Powder. Shout. South. Thousand. Towel. Vowel. Amount. Bounce. Brown. Clown. Count. Down. Downtown. Drown. Found. Frown. Gown. Ground. Noun. Playground. Pound. Round. Sound. Town. You're done. Congratulations. By the way, did you know that in American English, there are two different combinations of letters that are pronounced as the ow diphthong? First is the OU combination, as in the words couch or loud. The other is OW, as in the words cow or owl. How awesome is that? Click like if you like this video. Stay tuned on our Sounds American channel. And don't forget to subscribe.